Eight players, all with ambitions of winning big in Razvedov. Each one bought in for 20,000 euros, giving us 160k to start with. But now the buying cap has been removed and we have already over three quarters of a million euros on the table. This will get interesting. And after two hours of Pot Limit Omaha, the big winners are Leon Sukernik and The Wolf, up 100,000 and 50,000 euros respectively. Their gain, however, is Tony G's pain. He's 95,000 euros in the hole. Ouch. And what is it that we are playing here tonight? Well, it's a 36-hour cash game that features a starter of Pot Limit Omaha and a dessert of No Limit Hold'em. The main course, big money. The minimum buy-in is 20,000 euros, but the max buy-in of 40,000 euros that we've begun the game with has been scrapped. You want to reload big? You can. There's a couple of neat little features to keep the players on their toes as well. The party button booster is a feature where the player on the button adds a sum of money equal to the big blind into a side pot and continues to do so until the person on the button wins that hand and then they scoop up that side pot. Plus, then there's the vote off. The public vote for their favorite player and every three hours, the player with the least votes leaves. Although, the most aggressive player and the online qualifier are exempt. Got it? I'm not even now. So we're ready once more to roll in Razvedov. Commentary from Simon Trumper and myself, Jesse May. Are you cutting your tournament You have like 400 there. I'm scrapping it. You have like close to 400. Isildur's in for 40. A lot of love for Isildur in the chat. And I'm going to say that Jan is going to be voted off. That's going to be my, my projection. What do you think? No money. I need one more. Card. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think I think Yan's got a little cadre of, of support uh, among some of the Europeans who believe he might be the best in this game. But yeah, you know, I think it would be unbelievable wouldn't it, if Isidore got voted off. But let's be honest, he has probably, apart from our online qualifier, played the least. I mean, myself, I could never vote for Isildur to be off. I could never vote for Leon or the Wolf to get knocked off. And I could never vote Tony G off either, to be fair. So, yeah. I'll call. 3,200. Wow, we've had, uh, we've had a 3,200 straddle. Oh, who's participated? Tony G, look, straddle 3-2. And <laughs> has the wolf actually folded? I think he did. Leon called it. Jan's called it. Sam's called it. <laughs> it's sick though. Like this is a hand that Rob shouldn't be playing. Oh, so Tony straight on the third George story, yeah. so it began right. A lot and he's folded it. Now that is actually the correct play, even though it's only 1,600 to call into 14,000. His hand is Queen Seven Three Deuce Rainbow. <laughs> Are you sure? It's no, you see that. Terrible and they've all got similar cards, haven't they? Nobody's got really low cards. I mean, Johnny G's pretty happy because even though he straddled, he is in position, which is which is great. He didn't see it. Okay, then I can pull. You're the only season. Nice little 15k to start things out. Uh, Tony, sorry, Sam and Leon are the deepest back. Flush for Leon. Don't block it to the straight <laughs> flush. <laughs> well, I think and Tony's going to gamble with him a little bit, having the top set. Leon with 123,000. Tony with 72,000. So Tony G calls here 100% of the time, but do you ever do anything but call? No, no, just call. Call and hope for pair off. Pair up, and if he, if he bets the, the pot on the turn, you've got to fold. Really? Let's make a bet that Tony G will not, will no, not fold on this card, turn. Right when I <laughs> when seen my card. 32,000 in the middle. Pot. Yeah, Leon bets the full pot. Now, obviously we know he's capable of making this bet with an overpair and a flush draw. Uh, I'm all in. He's, wow, call. Tony G's call. got heart. Yeah. And we have... You double up already? No. 
This is the only card which I turn around. This is this is pretty big and, and, because you know, if Tony wins this pot, he gets okay, yeah, very yeah. close yeah. to even. Kind of if he loses, Leon is not only a huge winner, but Tony is buried. You can't time. have a uh, you one cannot time. have well, buried in a churchyard coffin. No Sorry. So Here we go. Really good news. The Keith. low cards are in the deck, but not that one. Graveyard on your bike. G, 200K, <laughs> stuck. <laughs> Wheels are off. Uh, be it's a bad day in the office for Tony G at the moment. He pulled up 100,000, having pulled up a few 20K bullets. And that 100K has now disappeared, most of it, into Leon Tosernik's stack in oh, seat two. I, I do feel for Tony. He looks shocked. He looks stunned. He looks buried. Let's just remind ourselves these players started with 20,000 each in front of them just uh, two and a quarter hours ago. Give you action because it's you, you know, I give you the action. I think you're a better player now. You could fold, you know, when you don't have the nuts. Oh, so I can fold. I, try to win. I think you're a better player, right? You could fold. How can you call with no nuts there? <laughs> he had a big pair of nuts. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah, no, re no recoil. Big, big no? pair of nuts. No recoil. Yeah, yeah. like Long run, you're going to lose your money. Six, yes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> you played with me before. Six, Good six, advice, six, Tony. Seven, eight, <laughs> Good advice. You know, even G buying here for 100K back in, he's uh, he's out chipped nearly by the whole table. Folds 10% of the time I have an For race, for He does fold sometimes. And uh, Sam, the straddle is up to 1600. Trickett's made it 4K. Uh, now, now. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, but it's like. You can't like I mean, raise or win with anything there unless you have a one. Online, you would like, you cannot call that. Rob's called. Well, this game Doesn't is definitely live up, Jesse. I would say, I mean, G's on autopilot. Trick, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a, you know, it's an aggressive play. 4,000 raise for this. Well, he's flopped an open ended straight draw. Wrong end, but 12,400 in the middle. Nobody's got this flop wrapped around, wrapped up. I mean, obviously, Rob's got two Six pair. <laughs> but look at the equity here. It's basically no, each of eight three. Say so the most aggressive player might win he this. But also have three pairs, right? I don't know what he has. It's like. I mean, this kind of call from Rob, bottom two pair, no redraws, Simon. You know, unless it comes a six or a seven, on, he nearly well has to fold the turn to a sizable bet. What do you think? Heads up. Definitely. <laughs> it's a nice turn for Sam. Yeah, because he's got the he's he's got the ace of spades. So he knows he really can't get raised here. Even if, even if, even if Rob has got a flush. Four check. It's not a check. Was it? Five check. Or is Sam's idea that is that he can't get called by a hand that he beats. Twenty-eight thousand in the middle. Going to put a little value bet in. These are two guys, though that have played with each other a lot, right? Not only online, but at the club, big cash games around the world. They know each other well. They check the turn, they check the river. Four, five, three. This pot didn't turn out to be much at all. 28,000 euro pot for Sam there. Small change at this table, but don't worry. Plenty more from Razvedov after the break.
It's the King's Casino Razvedov, home of the World Series of Poker Europe, and today, and the next day, and a bit of the day after that, home of the Party Poker Live Big Game Germany. Our host is Leon Sukernik, owner of the King's Casino, but that doesn't entitle him to sit atop the money winners. But he's done that of his own accord, playing loose, playing aggressive, reaping the rewards. Online qualifier Gary Hagen, by comparison, is as tight as Leon is loose. He qualified online to be here, and this is an opportunity to win big. He's picking his moments, hoping to pick up some pots. There's nearly 900,000 euros on this table. How long have you been away? Long time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Easier to get ill when you've been mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding you guys. If you started at the beginning, this has only been running less than two and a half hours, and we started with 140,000 on the table. There were seven players with 20,000. Rob got bust out of the 25K Super Hole Roller. High Roller came and joined the tournament with, I think, the cash game with 40. And since then, we've had multiple rebuys. 2,000. Rob, <laughs> once they took the cap off, things changed. Yeah. <laughs> Tony bought in for and, 100. And Rob bought in for 250. Check out the hands out here. I, th I think we're going to have a big pot here. Yeah, Gary's got the aces, but a couple playable hands in there. G's got the kings. Yep, let's get the money in, guys. Go on, Gary. Is this the moment? I like your hands. Come on, Gary. Everybody sitting at home. Let's funk for the qualifier. So, now they, they all know he has aces, right? They all know he has yeah. aces. But do you still take them on if you're Yan Peter Yachman, or do you, do you fold this? Uh, yeah, I think Yan would call here. It's kind of like the Put it this way. I know, gambler's I know, question. No I way that Rob would fold four, five, seven, eight against obvious aces. No, he's folded. You, you Six, action. seven, eight, ten. Is he going to live to regret it? You want sure you want action. You have to decide, Rob. If you want sure action. Wait for I mean, it's the ultimate in sensible decisions. Double Obviously, <laughs> if Gary has 100,000 back, it, it, it totally action. changes things, right? Yeah, never a true word said there. Scared, Scared money, don't, money yeah. don't make money, baby. <laughs> so there you go. Rob no, is going to make the call with his four, five, seven, eight on the button. Thank God, because like Tony wants an excuse. He, he was going to be really play. embarrassed he's calling you. Yeah, isn't that nice of Tony? Tony knows he's behind here with his kings. <laughs> Twenty-seven thousand six hundred. Now you're underdog to win the pot. So yeah. Gary so came to this table with the minimum twenty thousand. He won a raffle <laughs> on party poker to come and sit at this table. Look <laughs> at these guys, poor guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, Gary. Come on, Gary. Ace it. Ace me, baby. Well, Sorry. Luckily, <laughs> nobody's got a queen. Check. Yeah, he has to put it in. And that's that's mandatory, is it? I mean. He cannot check. Well, he can't fold, he to, fold. To, to someone betting, right. he, so he has to shove it in. I think you're in good shape. Yeah. Poor Tony has to make an even worse decision here. What do you do here if you're Tony? And you know that the <laughs> qualifier has to have aces in this spot. Against aces, is so sick. He yeah. should have re-raised me and got it all in. Nah. Couldn't get it all in. You get four. We get a king. How, how much is this? <laughs> <laughs> Too much. <laughs> nine. Eight thousand. Right? So seven and nine. Seven thousand and nine hundred. What, what kind of flop do you want with pair of kings? Good <laughs> <laughs> race. Why'd you call it the first place? Because <laughs> he wanted to hit a king. <laughs> Didn't hit it. It's got aces. Hundred percent has got aces. Right? 100%. So then still, well, what odds am I getting? I mean, I get a king. Is that? Is it 9,000? 8,000? No, no, 7 and 9. This is a donation for you. A donation from Tony G. Just in case you don't have aces. He needs. You have them, right? For once, he needs a, a, a two outer, and this time he's up against Gary Hagen from Northern from Ireland. <laughs> the qualifier who could be just about to win 43,000 euros. Poor Tony. Poor Tony. What do you prefer? 
Oh. What do you, would you like? Backdoor jacks or fives? You should, you should, you should make or him, just the king. You should make him a deal. You should make, no, make, you should make, should make him a deal now for the pot. No, no, we'll do it once. I mean, we'll do it once. I'm going to do it twice. So one time, right? Yeah, yeah. One time. Okay. Okay. This this would be so painful. What do you guys think? Is it so painful it's not possible? <laughs> it's not possible. Well, we are. Okay. Now Gary, give him a king, right? Gary is still in the game. <laughs> That's the game. He actually, <laughs> <laughs> he, rivers a, he rivers a straight, but it's no good. Gary has aces full. When he's still in the game, Gary has a cash out stack. He's got 40 odd thousand. Yeah. Started with 20. He went down to 10. I should even fold. I'm like 100% he has that. Well done, Gary. And he needs to play 12 hours before he can leave the table. So he's got another eight and a half hours to go. Yeah, and look, you know, just to put this in perspective, if you're watching, I half. mean, anybody who's watching this game and thinking, I could win there, I could do that. I mean, look at Gary. Here's a guy. Is, is anybody different than him? Grinding the cash games online. Took a shot in the, the rake race raffle and party poker. Won the 20K buy-in. Mm -hmm. Playing with Isildur, Sam Trickett, and the Wolf, no, and is ahead 25,000. Get in there, Gary. As the online qualifier, Gary's exempt from the vote off. The public are voting online, and every three hours, the player with the least votes is booted off the table. I mean, not literally. We'll ask them to leave politely. Shoot, I think it's great. I always love to see the guy who needs the money the most take it down. Three pass. And uh, I'm guessing right, uh, 46,000 would be a nice little boost to Gary's bankroll. Seven. The Northern Ireland grinder. Five three right, two five. Six, Back in seven, the game. Eight pass. I don't think there's a single player at that table who begrudges Gary winning that pot. No. And, uh, they all, they'd, all, they'd all love to see him, you know, leave the table with a profit. I mean, those of you who, who know Sam Trickett's history, you know, you know, somewhere around 2008, 2009, those years, uh, he was playing online, 25 cent, 50 cent, $1, $2. Five Discovered. Yeah, more crazy, and you're, you're welcome, so. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like a Madison Avenue model. What do you want to pull on the turn? Five, four. No, four. not on the mm -hmm. river, on the river. Oh, okay. Fifty-three three years, know. was playing the million dollar sit down game in the Macau. I don't know what it's it is. unbelievable yeah. story, isn't it? He must have the orange action. Check. Or check. Yeah. Little set for Rob. Not much in this pot. Five bet, ten thousand. It's a tricky one for Sam. Uh, obviously, he could still be ahead, but he's not supposed to be still ahead. When Rob's betting ten thousand on that board. Call. Uh, I wonder if, he, if he's it. calling thinking there is a chance he's ahead here. And we'll, we'll find out. Okay. I mean, oh, Rob hasn't played. Too fast. It's not going to be good enough this time, Sam. What do you guys think about that call by Trickett on the turn? Warranted? Warranted? Thirty-six hours a normal session for Victor. I, I don't think so. I'd say thirty-six hours is an opening gambit for Victor. I, I think I think you know seventy-two forever is more of a normal Isildur type session. Keep losing, Mark. Lose a million. You know when you get those nights where you just feel like you lose every pot. My feeling is. He'd be happy to play coin flip if it was heads up. I think that's really what he is, is a heads up Seven animal. Balls. But, uh, you know, I didn't even think he had the, the stamina to play in a, in a, in a ring game because I thought he just liked to play every hand. So I actually have been kind of impressed the fact that he's that he's able to play tight in a ring game because I didn't know, I'd never seen it. Never seen it. 
one call, three call, 1600. Four. Four call. So everyone just call this ground, yeah? G will be last man. He's the last straddle for 1600. Yeah, um, I think there's a uh, Jan Yakman Aces limp in here. I'm just going to call. <laughs> Five You're call. so good. You're too good. Yeah, I mean, Unbelievable. Minimum ace, ten, jack, queen. Unbelievable. Type of thing. Too good. You I can't, expect people to do your work. I cannot trap him. You should do your own work. It makes me own. I cannot I trap this guy. Very bad player. Five too seven. good. <laughs> I mean, Rob is nobody's fool. Uh, that is exactly what Jan Peter probably would have done with aces in this spot. It's trapping business. But uh, it's not what he has. One check, two, three check, five, four check. Check, seven right. check. Five people saw this flop. Not one of them has a queen. That's me. Omaha is a big bluffing game, PLO, Simon, but we haven't really seen any bluffing yet. What do you think? Maybe it's just because... I still get bluffing. There's too much action here. <laughs> too much loose action. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, that's exactly what we've seen so far. A very mature, totally sensible. Yeah. No hair gel. Milky toast. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. He may look like a deer in the headlights, but he's got rattlesnake. Oh, is, is a bear has raised to 3,000 here. Straddled round to Robert 800, it was, uh, makes it 3,000. Three pounds, please, thank you. Give you the nice Four double suited. Four. And Rob will also make the call. Naturally, the wolf is involved with his ace king 10 6. Flops a gut shot, queen, top pair. Oops. Not much for uh, Sam. One bet, 4,000. 4,000, 5,000. This needs the queen. Ah, he's got two backdoor flush draws. Seven, oh, yeah. Easy. Easy game. Take her down, Wolf. Uh, come on, Banky. Welcome back to Razvadov. This game ticking along. Everyone's getting on nicely. Just about. Small, big blind. You know, the game has really quieted down without Small Liam blind, here. He's, blind, he's a very big force in this, from one time. this table. Welcome. Give me a chance. I gave you, like, I knew what you had and I gave you. Give me one chance. Yeah. One straddle. I'm doing the 200 every time. I'm not doing the fucking whatever that is, 16. <laughs> you gotta give back. It comes back to you. You'll get it back to me. Well, I won't get it back. I don't need it back. <laughs> Enjoy it. Tony's trying to get uh, uh, Gary to do some more straddle. Gary's like, hello. I, uh, I've already straddled for two. I straddled for four. I'm maybe straddled for eight and 16 as well. Come on. Give me a break. You're up a lot. Do you, do you want to get voted off? Do you want to stay? I'm staying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you not get voted off? I can't. I'm not meant to get voted off in, say, 12 hours or anyway. I think I'm going to get voted off. <laughs> Eight, 800. How much? 800, straddle. Call. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with you, man? I believe Tony might get a little bit frisky here. Yes, he does. I'd go all in now if I was victory if I had a good hand. Seven goals. What do you think about this? I mean, Isildur straddled for 400, 3,000. 855 deuce, 
Is it maybe, sometimes, never, or definitely? What do you guys think? Or in these kind of games, do you just have to get a little bit of action sometimes? He's only got 14,000 left, so he's hoping to hit a huge flop. Hasn't hit it at all. Ace, king, queen. Great flop for Tony. I'm not exactly sure what Isildur is up to. Um, I think he's... I'll, I'll bet he's thinking about making a rebuy because he is a little bit understacked here. 47 hands have been played here in Razvedov thus far. That was a rare win for Tony G. He's brought 270k to this table and has lost 180 of that so far. Look at that bottom half. Jan Peter Yakman, Isildur, Sam Trickett, Tony G propping up the table when you'd probably expect it to be the other way around with their pedigree. Isildur's got the aces, and, and as we all know, that's all he, he's just a guy who just sits around and waits for him all day. What's something? Fifteen? Fifteen. Mm -hmm. wow. Six pass. Seven raise. Five so you have to tell me what we have to do there. He just, he just ran it. Five Sam, five you have to tell me what we have to do on that. Oh, okay. You send me an address or whatever you tell me. <laughs> well, you did have last time. Friends and family seems like a good deal. I got a gamble with it because he never got Unless it's a scam, it's like. All right. I know. All right. Here we go. But you're already on the There's an article on it. I guess so. <laughs> it's someone saying this isn't Isildur, it's Nitzelder. On a big screen. On Nasdaq. I may have a three. Seven on it. No, the thing is, there's so many of them now that it's hard for them to get listed anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Certainly, Molek. Yeah, they're struggling. But it doesn't matter, even legit, you know, like Telegram. The Telegram's a scam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're analyzing the company, how well it's doing. Except the financials. No, no, no. Analyze everything except the financials. Did you really know you were going to get Tony G explaining the philosophy and theory behind the <laughs> cryptocurrency to you? I mean, did you know you were getting that? For free, guys. For free. Tony G dishes on Bitcoin. I mean, it's like... It's like Arnold Nobel talking about gunpowder. It's just like that. In total? I don't know, but 10, 10, 12. Check, uncheck. We're trying to produce coins, though. Just luck. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're trying to produce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to get one of them, right? It's best to produce them from. Yeah. Eight check, 1300. It's, it's really hard to. Concentrate no, when the pots are scammed. under 10,000, isn't it? Because <laughs> you're, you're not buying the company. You're, you're buying something, you're buying a name. Like Ripple, everyone's excited about it, but it's not the worst one, isn't it? <laughs> People are not even understanding. They don't, they don't know what they're doing. They're just seeing Wait, the numbers go up. The Ripple company could just release another one and Sorry. say, this is 2.0. Okay. Yeah, that one we've sold all of it because they can sell like 60 million a month. There. That's great. That's, that's fantastic. But we got a little bit better one. I like the wolf. Yeah. The wolf will just yeah, pay yeah. two thousand or three thousand just to have this pot over, and just let's go but to the next one. Thirty billion. In one year, he's like on the rich list. Hey, uh, any aspiring bookmakers out there? I want I want a line. I want odds on will Tony G get like, even yeah, in like this game? I want to see what what, what would you bet it at? Would be worth like five times over what Facebook is worth. Except you, you have no, you don't have the equity. <laughs> he's we believe he's stuck two hundred and ten thousand. Does anyone want to give me two to one? Does anyone want to give me two to one on Tony G getting even? What do you think, guys? Five to one, five to one on Tony G getting even. Wow. Have ye no faith? <laughs> 100 to 1, says Doro NJ. My gosh. 
You guys haven't seen nothing. The amount Tony G is, is stuck is going to be an average pot in about 10 hours. <laughs> How much is it? 200. 6, 3, Maybe he's 3 to 1. 11. Somewhere in that neighborhood, I'd say. 2 to 1, 3 to 1. 7. A rice. 7 rice. How much is it? So it was fuck raise from Tony, a kind of a four bet pot. here from Isildur with the Kings double suited. How much is the pot? 4,000. 4,000? 4, yes, 4. 3. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's going to have Tony. 3 pass. Is it uh, 4,000? Kings 4, double suited. Yeah, and he's isolated G, who. I would oh, say just because it's you. Yeah. Call. People expect me to play. Change, please. <laughs> 500. 500. Okay, last hand before the break. Oh, Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, guys, you heard the uh, the man in charge before say that this is the last hand down. before a short break. Next you got time week. to go off and uh, get a drink, do whatever you need to do, come back and join us afterwards. And Isold uh, with his over pair and up and down straight draw. Not a lot for Tony G. No, this is overs. Six, seven. That's so bad. Pass. Yeah. Yeah, three, well, five, the players six, will take a short break and we'll do the same. See you in a couple. Welcome back to King's Casino Razvedov and the Party Poker Live big game. We're three hours in and it's time for a vote off. Now we've thrown a wrench in the big game by allowing you guys at home to vote somebody off every three hours. Essentially, you're voting for your favorite player and the player with the least amount of votes gets voted off. But there are two players that are exempt. That's the online qualifier, you're safe Gary, and the most aggressive player at the table which, according to our stats, is the wolf. Très bien, monsieur. And I have to be the bearer of bad news. The player being voted off actually hasn't been at the table for 45 minutes. So you snooze, you lose, Leon. And replacing Leon, we've got John DeVoot. John, you ready? Yes. <laughs> I'm ready. He looks excited. I'm going to let you get in there. I'm ready. Let, for... Let's get to the action. Go yeah, ahead, John. Thank you very much. Congrats. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the Party Poker Big Game at King's Casino in Razvedav. I'm Jesse May. Joined now by James Dempsey, uh, one of the top players on the England all-time money list. Although, I, you haven't been around late. Yeah. Do, <laughs> what's your PLO game Jesse, like, anyway? My PLO game, I would hope, is okay. <laughs> I keep losing at the moment, though, so goes to show but yeah no this is a uh, I've been watching you and uh, you and Simon from the comfort of my hotel room so John Gina also known as John Devout has bought in for 40,000 but the biggest stack at the table is the 304,000 sitting in front of Rob Young he's bought in for 300k of that though he's only just about breaking even big winner now that Leon has left is the wolf how Victor Blom, though, will surely make some big moves, won't he? So, so that's why Leon was made in second? It was very too, too tight. I, I think uh, I can, I cannot, a lot I of uh, Leon is uh, Mystique has got around the super noise bleeds online a few years ago where he's playing heads anyway. up and three-handed. And he's a very good poker player. The problem is that you're sitting here in a completely different environment, an eight-handed PLO game with, let's face it, a bunch of stations. <laughs> He can't get that out of line, and he's going to trade off his image. Everyone just assumes he's going to be going crazy. So I haven't actually seen him get any spots yet where he could particularly run a bluff. So we'll see as as the night goes on. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like you mentioned studying before. I mean, the the one knock about Isildur always is that he just doesn't he doesn't use any software. I mean, no. he's probably the highest stakes player that's been successful that does not use any software at all. Doesn't yeah, care. He does, yeah, you're right. He doesn't care. He's a punter. But he still, he still knows, you know, how to play good poker. Eight-handed PLO, he just has to play tight. 
eight gold, five gold, two gold. There is pot. Mm -hmm. Five thousand and two hundred. See three red pot, five thousand two hundred. No more now. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, okay. Seven, six behind. If someone... So we've got a good hand here to start away Five since we came back. Jan Peter limping under the gun. Sam raising up. Six, six, five, four, double. Gary in the wolf calling, and then Jan Peter setting the trap with his ace, queen, jack, nine, double. Yeah, and uh, with Jan Peter's strategy, and I think it's, it's partly uh, just based on the, the way he generally likes to play, and also because of his position at the table, he's only doing back raising. He has not made a first raise yet. It's. It's a good strategy in games like this, especially when he's sat relatively short. I say relatively short, he's got 15,000 and it's a 50-100 game, but with the straddles and the action and the play there, that's, that's kind of a shorter stack. Um, it's a good strategy on two fronts. The one, you open raise, the pot's not that big. This way, he's going to play a multi-way pot with way the best of it. And secondly, he does protect his limping range somewhat. He can limp in with other hands from early position that players can't because he doesn't have a raising range. He could, they've got to, they're going to be scared of him limping raising. They can't, although Sam's done it with 6 6 five, four, they can't do it as wide as they would say if yes, Rob limped him when he's been raising lots as well. And, and by the way, Gary's hand there, I, I mean, for me and maybe other people, I think like bad kings are the single hardest hand to play in PLO. Well, it's quite easy if it becomes king high. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's... Uh, high in this table. It's quite easy if it comes king high. Um, check. Well, Jack, I mean, he's made the best hand, but... Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> this is where we love the wolf. I did this game with the wolf uh, a few months ago. It was a Hold'em game, Omaha game. Didn't matter what the game was. Always driving the action. Check this bet out. This is not just a tickler. He's bet pot. 16K. With basically with no hand. The funny thing is, what he's done there is cost Gary the pot. Yeah. And the oh. Peter was going to get it in and be behind to Gary. Ah. How's it going? I got it. So he's going to need a uh, 10 or a 7. Uh, for, for, for Jan Peter, I mean, the only reason he's been able to make this call is because he only had 7,000 back. Sure. Okay. As soon as it came jack high, he's, he's in. Yeah. There weren't many flops he, he could no, fall to even. And the wolf's not drawing dead. Looks like a 10. Wow. 10 or a 7 that on a heart. Jack 10. There's one of them. <laughs> wow. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And obviously. The best hand. The qualifier would have won the pot. And the wolf cost him there. I believe that was his third buy-in. So, Jan Peter may be verging on the the the, the, the six-figure figure right now. And he's looking around. I mean, you, you have to make a decision: Do I rebuy? Do I take a break? Or is it just no decision? I think this is this is the. the you have to have uh, the stomach for when you're doing this strategy of limit raising and playing big pots because you're, you're going to be running close equities a lot. You're going to have to rebuy a lot. Like, he's very unlucky in that spot. But as we see, if the wolf hadn't made that play, he still would have lost the pot anyway to Gary because he was so short. You're, the, the bonus of it is, of course, you're playing a lot of pots with overlay because there's dead money from multi-way pots. So it it, it'll, it feels annoying. I mean, I've, I've tried. You're to looking to take lots of small bullets and then get and going. And then get a stack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we've all experimented with this strategy. And, and by the way, Isildur is doing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, it it's a good thing to do in in this game. I think in a game where people are raising up with such bad hands. A couple questions there about how much are people in for. Uh, at this stage, there is no cap on the buy-in, although it was 20K when they started. And you've got, I believe Tony G's the big loser right now. He's stuck about 200,000. Wow, it's a flop for Isildur. The low wrap and a pair. So he's taking a 72% favorite despite having nothing more than a pair of sixes. Right. Wow. That was right. Of course, with two clubs on the board, he can't be too aggressive with this hand, especially with no clubs in his hand. All all the clubs that make a straight sort of a I, mean, I mean, if it comes a club, Jan Peter could obviously could think about, or, or, or that. Could Jan Peter think about pushing him out right here? Yeah, it's an interesting spot for Jan Peter here. This Isidore shouldn't have many fives in his, in his range when he's just called the flop. I think a uh, queen five would have raised the flop. Five, six, 
maybe, but then he has to have something with Fire 6 to continue in the first place. I think now Jan Peter plays as a, as a check call. Oh. <laughs> huh. I guess he figures that there's some sort of like ace queen of club type draws that might, uh, might, might want to yeah, pay him off. There aren't many of those hands that don't raise the flop. That's the first problem. Right. Right. Obviously, I mean, these guys, <laughs> get, I'm guessing, they don't play those together that often, but nice. if you're always betting over pairs in the river there, you don't have more much of a check call range. So when you do check, I mean, Izzy is all to be uh, yeah. taking oh you off. But like I say, if balancing in a, in a game like this, you guys you probably don't play together so often, it's not as important. Montezino, Casino. Right, because <laughs> most of the guys here, <laughs> <laughs> the edge they're looking for is to wrap someone up and get them to put money in with, yeah. with absolutely no equity at all. Um, the guy who, like Chinese Sam with a nice hand on the straddle. Head. I gather we're still playing the, uh, the button game I was watching earlier. What's going? We are, but... It, you know, in, unless I think Tony G said they should make it 500 a, 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 right, yeah, a yeah. hand it instead of 100. It, it's just way too small. It might change in, in, in no limit hold'em. Um, okay, here we go. Here's some action. Is it as three bet Tony G? And Tony G's not going anywhere with aces. So it'll be four bet when it comes around to the walk in. I think Sam will find out. And what would be the reasoning behind Isildur making a move with this hand? Get no. grab the button, isolate Tony G, who's stuck. Yeah, it's a, it's not it's not a great hand to be three betting with. Yeah. I guess he yeah he's picking on Tony. I guess Tony's stuck the most, right? Six. He six thinks it'd be action. Six, seven, six, 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 oh, looks like he's got aces. <laughs> you have to put the card here. <laughs> that's been it's been yeah, that long now. Nah. No, nah. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> a little bit more. So we all have the, the left. Ah, I have it. Something better than ISIS. If you didn't re-raise, right? <laughs> he had three, four, six, six, right? He did. He had. The <laughs> <laughs> closing the action on the button. And it's the wolf. Okay, so here we go. Sam with the low ref top pair. It's only a gut shot. But is it a ten high flush for on a gut shot? Okay. 20k in the pot. Tony with the ace of clubs, kind of, kind of key in this situation. So, because he's kind of got two bets here, I mean, there is a, a theory that he could bet, he could bet, and then if it comes a club, he could bet big, and he should take the pot. For sure, it's it, it's much different. If he was betting ace of spades, ace of diamonds here, I wouldn't be so, wouldn't be so keen on it. But with the ace of clubs, it gives him some value in continuing. So. And also, more importantly, he you know he blocks hands that are going to play against him, like the nut flush draw, and no one else can have it. As it happens, is it a <laughs> the ten high flush from a gut shot? Let's go. I'm not, I'm not sure I like that. You've got to you've got to figure Tony's got two aces when he, the way he's <laughs> maybe right. three. So what aces does he continue with? Ace of clubs is going to be one of them a lot. So is it putting it in dead here a lot of the time? That's what it feels like. I don't. Yeah, I don't. But I mean, like it, it. it 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 felt like a weird play from the wow. start. And Sa Sam's ramming it in there with his. Low rap and top player again. I, I, you know, I'd be putting on Tony and Aces in that flush draw in the spot if I was in it. And then there's a good chance he's got a jack or a ten with it. What's you got, sir? King Jack nine ten. You have a flush draw, no? No. I got a really bad hand. I got a, I got a, got a flush draw. I folded the best hand. This is I was hoping you did. <laughs> Sick. I mean, marginally, I had one pair. Yeah, what are you going to do? Not much chance what to win. What do you have, Victor? Huh? Got shot. Got shot on the flush draw, yeah? Split and jack. Good shot's no good, no? One time, yes. Split. It's probably come, come off queen or four now. Or deuce or three. Okay. Well, it's a flip pot right okay. now. Okay. Sam, a bit of a favorite. That's a great card for a trick it. Isildur I yep. I does not pot. hit. Yeah, and uh, 58,000. That is, I'm I imagining, going to meet a rebuy for Mr. Isildur. Isildur for Sam Trickett. Finally starting to get a little one back. I would lose. Mr. Blom down then, but most definitely not out.
For him, this is like breathing, and he's reloading for another 40K. We're three hours in and just getting started. Plenty more to come from Isildur, Tony G, The Wolf, Gary the Qualifier, come on Gary, and all that in our next installment of the Party Poker Live Big Game from Razvodov. See you next time.